Hi, baby Jay here. Today, I'm gonna teach you, you know, the exercises, a few movements that each one of us could do, you know, only nine minutes. You could do it in the morning and you could do it on, in the afternoon. But this few um, body movement could really increase the secretion of our nitric oxide. So what is nitric oxide? Okay, it's different from nitrous oxide, which is the laughing gas that the dentists use when they clean your teeth. Okay, nitric oxide is um, a gas that comes from green leafy and yellow vegetable and also beets. Okay, they have lots of nitric oxide. And this nitric oxide are stored in our in the lining of our blood vessel okay so it's there and when we need it okay so it's stored there but the most important thing that this uh, gas do for our health is to stop inflammation and when there's inflammatory process in our body okay especially COVID our body, you know, our cells is not feeling well. It's so hot. So the nitric oxide is actually like water or hose and it just drenched on that inflammatory um, cells, you know, whatever the inflammation going into the body to calm it down, okay, to decrease the inflammation. When there is decreased inflammation, cells becomes healthy. So the nitrates, okay, comes from the vegetable and then it turns into a nitric oxide. So what do we do in order to tap on this uh, gas, you know, this very uh, powerful gas? So first, you know, you if we take a deep breath, okay, through our nostril, it stimulate the production of nitric oxide. So you try to breathe through your nostril and deep into your lungs okay and and the other way of doing of uh, tapping our nitric oxide is by exercising because when we exercise the it improves you know the our immune system okay the when we exercise the nitric oxide which is stored in our blood vessel are triggered and they cause okay so what does the nitric oxide do why is it so important because it thins our blood also not only it's a good anti-inflammatory but it also thins our blood so then we don't if our blood is thin we won't have stroke right heart attack we would not have high blood pressure and we would not have you know deep vein thrombosis or blood clots to our legs or into our lungs better than aspirin okay so as i told you before i am an emergency provider but i am also a family nurse practitioner which you know we like to optimize patients health and not go to the er okay so when we go exercise it's better if we go out in the sun because in the sun when the uv light hits our skin it's also uh trigger the production of nit nitrates or no, nitric oxide okay so what does nitric oxide do again it improves our immune system it improves the in my um, mitochondrial health so what is the mitochondrial health it's really the core health of our body so that when we are healthy our mitochondria are healthy we would not have chronic illness and what are these chronic illness diabetes right hypertension asthma you know all these things could be prevented that's why i want to do this likaw sakagaw so we could not have kasimanwa or friends that end up with dialysis right end up in heart failure this is our goal okay um so when we exercise also it increases the production of bdnf and what is that okay it's brain neurotrophic oh brain derived neurotrophic factor okay which is like a fertilizer to our brain right it repairs our brain 
when we all day when we are in a grind you know we're thinking of so many things you know our brain cells are damaged okay so then the bdnf will repair that if we have enough right and our bdnf will only work if we have enough nitric oxide so also when we increase our bdnf it also decreases our anxiety our depression you know we stop drinking you know binge drinking according to study is because there is a low bdnf on the brain so the bdnf also prevent the shrinkage of our gray matter so, and the decrease of our synapses this happens when we become older right i am becoming older but it in order for us to the gray matter prevent us from when the decrease in gray matter happens it prevents us from learning okay also it prevents us from forming good memories we could not remember now our family members you know things that make us happy so that's why it makes learning very difficult if we have decreased bdnf and the other thing is it also increase the pgc one so it is pgc alpha is also a hormone that control mitochondrial genes okay so it re regulates glucose and amino acid acid production so the uh, main uh, core of the protein in our body is amino acids so when we have when we don't have enough pgc1 then we would not have proteins right enough proteins to repair the illness or the breakage in our cells so that's why we develop chronic illness so i hope that i explain it to you well so now i want us to do this exercise very um quickly so we could do deep squats okay so all you need to do is put your arms go down okay do that like 10 times okay so the key here is you do this exercise for nine minutes you could also do this arm you put him on the back okay you do this so when you do this you need to squeeze the muscles okay when okay when i say squeeze you squeeze your uh, shoulders okay that exercise is always form okay the the form is very important so like this and then we go up and squeeze also our shoulder we go down and then we go squat okay you can do that repeatedly you could do 10 of this and then after that we go up 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 in the ceiling and then we go down okay so when we are good at this you could do this with a jumping jack okay so you do this and then you jump you go this go jump you go squat dip and jump and you just keep on doing that until you reach nine minutes and then you are now huffing and puffing breathe through your nose okay so i'll see you on the next video <laughs>